You didn't try to poison me, did you? Nope. Are you sure? There's no monkey shoulder in there. Okay, there could be some other some miracle scotch that you no, sw it's, swerved into this. It's, we finally got here. It's taken a little time, but with a little persistence, uh, you're ready to pour this alphabet out. I suppose. So basically the way this goes is we are doing what I call literally blind flights. Because I have no idea what's in these bottles. Adam has no idea what's in these bottles. By the way, maybe we ought to tell you who we are. He's Adam, in case you didn't figure that out. That's who he is. I don't remember who I am. And this here is Jason. Oh, that, that was it. Thank you. Welcome to the classroom. As I was saying, by the way, we, did, we have no idea what's in any of these bottles. Uh, well, he does. He knows what's in mine. I know what's in his. But it should be four that neither one of us has ever tasted. Yep. Uh, we're going to start A each and just give it yeah, a Yeah, you want to go from inside out? Yeah, I guess we'll inside out. That's cool. So sweet. We'll nose them. A. And taste them. Here yeah. we go. Nose and taste. Okay, there it finally is. Nothing was jumping for a minute. That. There I'm getting a hint of vanilla, I guess just a tad. And the cherries on the back of it. Not, not a lot of barrel. Not spicy. I, no, I'm, I mean, this is really tough for me to pull anything out. Really? Well, now, I know what that first one is, too. You're not getting much out of that? Because well, I get a ton. But I'm thinking... It's really tough for me to profile. I mean, to tell you what, I mean, I'm smelling something okay. uh, other than alcohol, but I mean, it's just really tough for me to say. This is quintessential vanilla cherry for me. Typical. There's nothing that jumps out as unique, but you know, it's 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 quintessential bourbon. Okay. Mmm. Hello. That's a heavier hitter. Not terrible, because it's not hanging on real bad in the back. It's smooth. And there's a barrel on the back. There it is. Just a little bit of age on the back of it. It's definitely not young. It's got some age on it for sure. And it's, wow, it's also sticking to the glass. So it's got mouthfeel. Pretty good. Yeah, I mean, this, I can is, drink that. this is something I would drink. Uh, I'm like, again, just kind of like the, the nose. It's really hard for me to pull any specific taste out. But, uh, I mean, it... It drank really nice and smooth. It didn't really hang on very long. Uh, I got a little hug there towards the end, right about upper chest. Uh, but it's something I could definitely I could enjoy some more of. You know, on the second nose, I'm pulling some fruit now. I wasn't before. I got vanilla, I got a little bit of cherry, but now there's some, I think almost red apple that's coming out. Nah, that's okay. This one, brown sugar, right off the front. Definitely the nose is different on this guy than what hey, B's got a different nose in it. This is um okay, what's this I know I, I gotta tell you what I know it isn't, but what I, what it smells like. Oh, dilly dad. It's like bread of some sort. I mean like I can almost like fresh baked bread. Some I don't know, with some raisin. This is higher rye. What I'm getting on this one. Uh, I just can't pinpoint, rye. but I mean, it, it smells interesting. But this one's got the brown sugar vanilla coming. It's the, that, that was cherry vanilla. This is more brown sugar vanilla that I'm getting on this one. And again, it reminds me of something that I've had recently. Now I can't put my finger on it. But yeah. Okay. Both of these that I have nosed, the palate does not say what the nose does. And yeah. that's hotter than that one was for sure. This one's got some proof. Not getting hugged, but I felt it on the back. Uh, I'm getting a little warmth again. Uh, I mean, something I can drink. Mm -hmm. it, it, again, it's just a little, it's outside of anything I've had before. Uh, I mean, yeah, that nose is very unique. Uh, inviting, not uh, obnoxious by any means. I'm getting some equal hug. I mean, just up to the top, not too far down. Gotcha. But, I mean, yeah, very drinkable. Very interesting. Three. Another good one. That one coats, too. It's putting a rim right around the edge of the glen. Again, um, oh, it's funny. This one's almost splitting the difference nose-wise between these two. But, I want to say, there's the vanilla. I've gotten vanilla, vanilla, vanilla. But the underlying nose is what's changing. From cherry to brown sugar to I can't tell what this is yet. This is my, uh, almost know, this leaning apple. I can hit a little vanilla. And yeah, I, believe it or 
around. Yeah, just a little apple-ish. I mean, like a fresh cut apple area right there. Green or red? Because sometimes I get a green one. I get a Granny Smith off a lot of wheat whiskeys, which I know these aren't, but sometimes the red apple shows up in these. Yeah, that's. I would say it's more of a reddish than a, a, gotcha. a yellow. Okay, cool. Yellow green. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh. Here's what's funny. I got exactly the same level of nose off of... Well, actually, this one started out weaker now that I think about it. There wasn't as much nose as there was palate here, but what I was getting, I could tell. These nose heavier, but it seems like palate-wise, this doesn't reveal anything. It tastes like bourbon, but I can't pick out anything particular flavor-wise, whereas I could here. This is just kind of great bourbon. All three of these have been really entertaining, and that one falls in the proof category that one does. This one is hotter. For sure. Uh, I mean, this one hit my mouth very smooth, and then all of a sudden it just danced across the palate. I mean, it was uh, it was something that very unique. Uh, there again, just some profiles that I really haven't experienced in my young journey of drinking bourbon. But, I mean, really all three of these have been fantastic introductories to something that I'm unaware of and looking forward to finding out what I'm drinking. This one probably has the lightest nose of... Do you think so? On that one? Ooh. That is very... Mm-hmm. It's like I just ran the toothbrush across the teeth. Pretty much I got a little bit of mint in the back of this one. I'm pretty sure I know what I'm drinking, but I'm not going to reveal. I'm not. We'll get there. We'll see if that happens here in 20 minutes when we come back to this. We'll find out. Nose-wise, I didn't tell you anything about that. Nose-wise, no, that flavor's not, palate flavor's not in the nose. But this one is, again, I have consistently gotten a vanilla out of all four, every one of them, cherry to brown sugar to not sure, maybe apple, and to this one, yeah, heavy vanilla. It reminds me of the, the nose you get on the Weller when you first open it. Okay. You know, that sweet that pops out at you right away, but there's, it's obviously not. Again, just another interesting nose. I mean, like you said, probably the lightest of the four that I've had. Especially more, uh, it's going back to a more traditional bourbon. All these are drinkers for me. Every one of them. I could do that. You know, if I were coming home from work or whatever, or wherever, and decided, gosh, I want something, I could go to the cabinet and pick out any four of those and be perfectly happy. Yeah, uh, I Jason, I would say uh, these four, yeah, I could see these living on my cabinet. Could you? Cool, the that's great. Yeah, I that's mean, good, I, because now you've ventured out. And you know, it's like, oh, there's more stuff out there than just the mainstream. Sure, absolutely. And that's kind of what we're always about. Then we are. Good point. There's a reason this is a classroom. We want to be learning as much as you are. As a matter of fact, you may end up teaching us more than we teach ourselves. So that's why when this channel hopefully really gets to rolling, we really want to hear your feedback. What do you want to see us learning about? What do you want to learn about along with us? We want this to be more about the love of the whiskey than the love of the drinking. Learning something about a wonderful product that's made and has a huge history in this country and many others. I guess we should rank what we like, right? Yeah. So you said that you selected... I first place was... C. I, it was B for me. B for you was fourth place. And C was for you. All right, you ready? I'm ready. I'll be dipped. I'm glad I haven't bought that one yet. And this is the thing. I wish I could remember now what they were. If I go back and snip, you know, that's got old Forrester notes on it now. Yes. That does. That's got very familiar, woody, old forester notes. That's the bottle. That's 1897, right? Yep, that okay. is the bottle and bond, 1897. Are you ready for your yep. last place? And your last place was? Is, uh, Bravo. Was B? B is Watershed Bourbon out of Watershed Distillery. Fair enough. What do you think? It was just, like you said, it was a, a new taste. Is that the most unique thing you've yeah. ever tasted? Or yeah, what? I was just like I said, I, I would drink it again. But yeah, it was just out of the four. Um, it has to be a last place. All right, who's turn? Mine? Yep. I, my third place was B. 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 Surprise me, Hals. All right, here we go. This is B. Another one in the line, the signature. That's what you picked up the other day that I didn't know about. Okay. I looked on the list and it's like, I never even thought of that one. Is this just going to be Old Forester Day? I don't know. Well, that's, so that's the one I haven't had the signature yet. Now, hold on. Is that one? That one doesn't have as much of the Old Forester notes. That does. This one doesn't have nearly 
I mean, you're living at a hundred percent both Old Forester. Mm hmm. Yeah, I bet that was the second hot one too, because there were two in there that had a little more heat, a little bit more proof to them as we were going through. That's interesting. I again though, I, those I wouldn't mind having on the shelf. Those oh yeah, good. good deal. Yeah, those are good. So all right, you had what third place? Uh, C. C. You ready? Okay. Middle West wheated bourbon. Boy, I tell you, that thing was just interesting too. These two like were just. I mean, it, like I said, I'm I'm young in my bourbon experience and whiskey experience, but these were something like I've never had before. That's like trying to catch a racquetball. Yeah, it is. I mean, like my goodness. Yeah, I have to give it to uh, Middle West because I mean, there again, that's something that you're not getting with any other things I've experienced. Thus far. I mean, there again, I think yeah, it's just it's so unique. I mean, if uh, this is something you haven't tried, it'd be worth pour. A is my second place. A is the second place. We're going to get crowded. I'm going to move. Second place is... Second place. Okay, good. At least he didn't old forest me. Yeah, it wasn't a straight old way. forester. We went a yes. little four roses single barrel. Good. It's also coming in at 100 proof. Yeah, so I've got 300. 300s. Oh, okay, is the fourth one going to be... No, it can't be. Because there's something in there that doesn't taste like a 100 proofer. Okay. Four roses single barrel. As you can see... Yeah. Uh, from the three of the selections I offered, that's one I've hit probably the most. Uh, About half down, not quite. Not yeah, quite it's down. like I, I, you, Jason. I found it pretty tasty. You ready for second place? Yeah, let's see it. Second this place. This is it. You have one that I absolutely cannot stand, and it's not. I have nothing bad to say about the distillery, but this one I just cannot get my head around. Rabbit Hole, Cave Hill, was what you have right there. There again, I mean, it had a, more of a traditional taste that I was used to, so maybe that's why it bumped itself up a little bit. I mean, uh, it's still unique. I mean, it, they're getting like all four of these selections have had some taste that I've yet to really discover in any of my collection. So, but this I would say was more traditional of a bourbon than the, the previous two. This but one still some smokiness to it. Yeah, okay. I would think. Yeah, like it, it was. It had some things that I wasn't used to getting. Mm -hmm. But this is starting to go more towards the avenue that I'm used to drinking. Now. Gotcha. Taste is subjective. Sure. I'm glad that fell in that category for you because that proves it right there. He has a taste that I don't. I awesome. want some things with it. Yeah, I mean, and there again, yeah, it's completely subjective. Yeah. I mean, and who's to say tomorrow that this lineup would be different? This is where I'm at today, at this given moment. This is what's tasting good to my palate. So, yeah, these are the, if I'm ruining your day, please don't let that be the case. But I think we're ready to see who's got the number one. The champions of, of the first blind flight. Okay, it's my turn. All right. What's my number one? It is D. D. Uh, I think you're going to be surprised yet happy to find out what you selected. Oh boy. Happiness is again that subjective. Uh, Here comes. I'm almost, it's not a toaster, but I'm going to guarantee it. <laughs> a gold plated toaster. Oh, get out of here. You just, uh, I think, came into possession one of these today. I did something like that, you know. Yeah, it's like a good thing that you uh, put that on your list because we were going early times, bottle and bond. So the nice thing about this flight was everything was right at the 100% proof point. Yeah, he hit the top of the threshold for me. Yeah, for sure. So that was just the kind of theme I'm after. This, uh, this guy's a perfectionist, so... I mean, if you're the whiskey classroom, this is the first episode, you better strike 100%. I, or 100 um, proof. Uh, no, it makes sense why I've been hearing what I have about this. How this is probably one of the best pours in that price point. A liter for 25 bucks. Well, that tells you that you can still find good whiskey cheap. Mm -hmm. You know, this is good stuff. And that's and it makes perfect sense as to why that is getting the reviews that it does. Because oh, it was. Good. It was probably one of the smoothest. Did not drink like a hundred at all. As a matter of fact. Yeah. Not offensive no. whatsoever. Just a really pretty pour. Really, really nice. Yeah, I was very uh, pleased. So thank you for picking up one for me. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I couldn't find it anywhere I was, so I really appreciate that. All right, you ready? Yep, this okay. is... Well, the last one. It uh, is letter D. Here it is. Drum roll. Oh, okay. Wilderness Trail. Now, Wilderness has several, but this happens to be their single barrel, bottled and bond. Oh, wow. And it's a wheater. And uh, let's hear it. Uh, I mean, there again, to me, it was just hitting uh, the most what I'm used to. So I think familiarity, like uh, one out today, very good. I mean, I there again, I would call all these drinkers at some point. Would I drink every day? Uh, maybe down here occasionally, but on the upper, I like I said, I would add actually. How about this? I'll put all these on my shelf. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think everything that's in this lineup could appear on my shelf right here. 
Well, folks, you've been through the first lesson in the whiskey classroom. Actually, and again, our goal is for the love of the whiskey, not for the drinking. So to, the, the learning experience that we have along the way is what makes it real for us. Yeah, absolutely. So yeah, it's something that we're passionate about, we enjoy, and it uh, stimulates great conversation and camaraderie and brotherhood. So hopefully that you're experiencing what we are along your journey. Yeah. If you like what you've seen today, or actually even if you don't like what you've seen today, will you do us a favor and like and subscribe that channel there, the Whiskey, Whiskey Classroom on YouTube. We'd really appreciate it. Here's video number one. Cheers, Cheers. to your brother. And until next time, class, class dismissed. dismissed.